so I've been running uh, with the truck no trailer setup for about two weeks now and I gotta tell you I'm loving every minute of it man I really wish I'd done this sooner it's just it's perfect I mean I've got some kinks that I still got to work out with um, like I don't like the way my push mower is set up uh, I don't like the way it's secured so I gotta figure out I, I know what I'm gonna do with that I just haven't done it yet um, but the biggest issue I've been having is actually with the ramps um, the way I have it now is I was just having the ramp sit on top of the uh, sit on top of the uh, uh, tailgate and then was using nails to just you know kind of pin them in place you know I got drilled holes for the nails to go through and uh, the problem with that is um, the deck was catching on the ramps um, so you know, you go to take you go to take the truck off the. I mean, you go to take the mower off the truck, and as it's going down, the deck would hit the edge of the ramp because the ramp's you know kind of angled up a little bit, and so you kind of pop a wheelie to get the ramp. I mean, to get the mower down the ramp, but when the wheelie would come back down, it would pass the deck, but then the ramp would hit the baffle and that was causing the baffle to move in and actually the blades were starting to hit the baffle when I would you know, engage the blades and you'd have to knock it back into place and that's, that's not good. Um, so that's when I, I was trying to figure out what I could do because you know one option would have been to get longer ramps but that requires buying new ramps. <laughs> I hate spending money on stuff I've already got. So I decided instead is I cut two slots in the uh, I don't know if this lady's yacht lawn needs to be cut either. So anyway, I cut those slots in her uh, in the ramp in the tailgate. So now I can just slide the ramps into those slots, and dude, that works so much better. doesn't need it. Real bummer. Yeah, it doesn't need it. So anyway, I cut those slots and that's actually making things work way better for me. Because um, now there's no lip for anything to catch on. So it's just a lot safer and it's way more secure. So I think I might still cut some pins for that so I can just kind of like drop them all the way through but dude this works way better and I didn't have to spend any money and you know I did do some I guess some damage to the tailgate I guess you could say but honestly man this is a work truck a work truck that I paid too much for and so I'm just gonna run this thing until the wheels fall off I mean you know once I uh, whenever I upgrade to a new truck or a newer truck I'm not getting rid of this I'm just gonna put historic tags on it and uh, still drive it around because I gotta get my money's worth out of this sucker <laughs> so but uh, yeah I mean it's you know this is a really good option for you guys that are running out of the back of your truck if you're having that issue with the deck catching on the ramps this solved it for me pretty easy and it didn't cost me anything. I just used a grinder, you know, with a thick, uh, thick wheel on it and just zoop, grinded it off. So that's what I did. So, you know, just to show you guys that's working out pretty good. Uh, I just passed by that last lawn and they don't need to be cut either. So I figure I've, I solved one problem. So I'll just go ahead and solve my uh, issue with the. Uh, push more. So I think what I'm going to do is get by some metal brackets and attach the attach the mower basically the base that the mower is sitting on attach it to the top of the bed 